the halls of the Intergalactic Academy buzzed with the chatter of students from a myriad of worlds. Among them, the Thalorians stood out, their tall, slender frames and iridescent skin contrasting with the more robust and varied forms of humanity. In a large lecture hall, Alex Marshall and Zalith Cathar sat on opposite sides, their faces reflecting the intense debate unfolding before them. Dr. Maria Liu, a renowned historian, stood at the front of the room, her holographic projector displaying a timeline of Earth's military conflicts. As we examine the tactics employed during the Second World War, she began, we see a pattern of rapid innovation driven by necessity. Humans have a remarkable ability to adapt and develop new strategies under pressure. Alex leaned forward, his eyes gleaming with enthusiasm. That's right, Dr. Liu. The ability to improvise and think on our feet has always been one of humanity's greatest strengths. During World War II, for example, the development of radar technology and the breaking of the Enigma Code were pivotal in turning the tide of the war. Zalith Cathar's expression was one of sceptical curiosity. While I acknowledge the ingenuity, it seems chaotic. Such rapid changes and unpredictable tactics could easily spiral out of control. How can such an approach be sustainable on a larger universal scale? Alex smirked. That's the beauty of it, Zalith. Flexibility and unpredictability can be powerful tools in warfare. They keep our enemies guessing and allow us to adapt to any situation. Thalo Virik, the Thalorian cultural anthropologist, raised a hand, drawing the room's attention. From a Thalorian perspective, such unpredictability is both fascinating and concerning. Our strategies rely on stability and long-term planning. The human approach, while effective in the short term, poses significant risks. Have there been instances where such tactics backfired? Dr. Liu nodded. Absolutely. The very nature of improvisation means that it can lead to unexpected outcomes, both good and bad. For instance, the Vietnam War highlighted the limitations of conventional military strategies when faced with guerrilla warfare tactics. It was a harsh lesson in the importance of understanding and adapting to one's environment and opponent. Zalith leaned back, pondering this information. It seems to me that human war tactics, while advanced, are a double-edged sword. The potential for rapid adaptation and innovation is impressive, but the unpredictability and potential for catastrophic failure cannot be ignored. Alex interjected, but that's what makes us so formidable. Our ability to learn from our mistakes and adapt quickly is unparalleled. We've faced countless challenges throughout our history and have always found a way to overcome them. The room fell silent for a moment as the students considered the implications of this debate. Talo Vivrik broke the silence, his tone measured and thoughtful. The potential for humanity to dominate the universe is indeed significant. However, it will require a balance between your natural inclination for rapid adaptation and a more measured strategic approach. Perhaps there is much that Thalorians and humans can learn from each other, Dr. Liu smiled, sensing an opportunity for deeper understanding. Exactly, Thaler. The Intergalactic Academy exists for this very reason, to foster collaboration and mutual learning among different species. By combining our strengths, we can create a more stable and prosperous universe. As the lecture concluded, Alex and Zalith found themselves walking side by side, their earlier debate still fresh in their minds. You know, Zalith, Alex said, I think there's a lot we can learn from each other. Your strategic patience and our adaptability could make for a powerful combination. Zalith nodded thoughtfully. Indeed, Alex. Perhaps through our collaboration, we can find a way to harness the best of both our approaches. The universe is vast, and there is much we have yet to discover and understand. Their conversation continued as they walked through the bustling corridors of the academy, two minds from different worlds beginning to bridge the gap between their species. The future of intergalactic relations and the potential for humanity's role in the universe hung in the balance driven by the curiosity and collaboration of these young scholars. 
The next day, the students gathered in the Academy's grand library, a vast hall filled with knowledge from countless civilizations. Alex and Zalith sat together at a table piled high with historical texts and tactical manuals. Thalor Vurik and Dr. Liu joined them, ready to delve deeper into their exploration of war tactics and their broader implications. Thalor Vurik started the discussion. Let us examine a human conflict that emphasizes both strategic patience and rapid adaptation, the Cold War. Dr. Liu, could you elaborate on how this period demonstrates the complexities of human tactics? Dr. Liu nodded. The Cold War was a prolonged state of political and military tension between the United States and the Soviet Union. Unlike direct conflicts, it involved indirect engagements through proxy wars, espionage, and the threat of nuclear war. This period required careful strategic planning, technological innovation, and psychological warfare. Zalith's eyes widened. A war without direct confrontation? How did humanity manage such a delicate balance? Alex chimed in. It was a high-stakes game of chess. Both superpowers had to anticipate each other's moves, avoid direct conflict to prevent mutual destruction, and use various means to gain influence around the world. The Cuban Missile Crisis, for example, was a pivotal moment where both sides had to navigate a potential nuclear catastrophe with extreme caution. Thalor Vivrik added, This exemplifies the importance of strategic patience and diplomacy, elements that resonate with Thalorian principles. However, the constant threat of destruction is a concerning aspect, Dr. Liu continued. Indeed, the Cold War era saw significant advancements in technology and intelligence gathering. The space race, for instance, was not only about reaching the moon, but also about demonstrating technological superiority. The tactics used during this period reflect both the potential and peril of human adaptability. Zalith nodded thoughtfully. It's clear that while humans can achieve remarkable feats, the underlying tension and risk are considerable. How did this period affect humanity's overall development? Alex replied. It pushed us to innovate rapidly in fields like aerospace, computing and telecommunications. But it also left a legacy of mistrust and competition. We've had to work hard to move past that and focus on cooperation and mutual understanding. Taylor Vurik leaned forward his eyes reflecting a deep curiosity. And how do you see humanity's future in the context of interstellar relations? Can these lessons from your past shape a more harmonious future? Dr. Liu answered, absolutely. By understanding our history and the consequences of our actions, we can strive to build a future that values collaboration over conflict. The Intergalactic Academy is a testament to that vision bringing together diverse minds to learn from each other. As they discussed, a holographic display activated in the centre of the table, projecting a simulated scenario involving a potential conflict between two interstellar colonies. The students and professors leaned in, ready to apply their combined knowledge to this new challenge. Alex pointed at the display. We need to consider both immediate tactical responses and long-term strategic goals. Zalith, what would be the Thalorian approach to diffusing this situation? Zalith studied the display. We would first establish communication with both parties, seeking to understand their motivations and grievances. Our goal would be to mediate and find a peaceful resolution through dialogue and compromise. Alex nodded. That's a solid approach, but if tensions escalate, we should also be prepared to adapt quickly and protect the colonies. We can use technology to monitor the situation in real time and deploy defences if necessary. Thalor Vivrek and Dr. Liu observed with approval as their students collaborated, blending their diverse perspectives into a cohesive strategy. It was a small but significant step towards a future where humans and Thalorians, and perhaps many other species, could work together to ensure peace and prosperity across the universe. Their discussion continued late into the night, the glow of the holographic display illuminating their faces as they forged a path towards a shared future.
the potential for humanity to take on a greater role in the universe was undeniable, but it would require wisdom, cooperation, and a willingness to learn from both their own history and the experiences of other civilizations. As the night wore on, Alex and Zalith found themselves not just as students of war tactics, but as pioneers of a new era of interstellar diplomacy and collaboration, the stars outside the Academy shone brightly, symbolising the endless possibilities that lay ahead. Several weeks passed, and the collaboration between human and Thalorian students deepened. The Academy buzzed with the excitement of shared learning and new discoveries. Alex and Zalith's bond grew stronger their debates sharpening their understanding of each other's cultures and strategies. One day, the Academy announced a grand simulation event. Students would be divided into teams, each tasked with handling a complex interstellar conflict. The scenario involved a resource-rich planet, disputed by two advanced civilizations on the brink of war. The goal was to resolve the conflict without escalating to full-scale combat. Alex and Zalith were naturally selected as team leaders, representing the human and Thalorian perspectives. Their team included a diverse group of students, each bringing unique skills and insights. As the simulation began, the holographic display projected the contested planet and the fleets of the two civilizations poised for battle. Dr. Lu and Thala Verick observed from a distance ready to offer guidance but allowing their students to take the lead. Alex took a deep breath, glancing at his team. All right, let's start with gathering intelligence. We need to understand the motivations of both sides and identify potential leverage points. Zalith nodded, agreed. Let's initiate communication with both factions and establish a neutral zone for negotiations. Our priority is to de-escalate tensions and create a platform for dialogue. The team quickly divided tasks. Human and Thalorian students worked together to establish secure communication channels, while others analysed the strategic importance of the planet and potential resource distribution solutions. As negotiations began, it became clear that both factions had deeply entrenched positions. The humans and Thalorians took turns mediating, their different approaches creating a balanced and effective strategy. Alex used his charisma and knowledge of human negotiation tactics to appeal to the more aggressive faction, emphasising the long-term benefits of peace and cooperation. War will only drain your resources and weaken your position. By working together, you can share the wealth of this planet and strengthen your economies. Zalith, with his calm and logical demeanour, addressed the more defensive faction. We understand your concerns about security and sovereignty. However, continued conflict will only lead to mutual destruction. Let us find a way to guarantee your safety while ensuring fair resource distribution. The negotiations were intense, with moments of breakthrough and setback. At one point, tempers flared, and it seemed the simulation might fail, but Alex and Zalith's teamwork and mutual respect kept the dialogue moving forward. Dr. Liu and Thalo Verick exchanged impressed glances as they watched their students navigate the complex situation. Their collaborative efforts were a testament to the Academy's mission and the potential for a more peaceful universe. After several hours, a breakthrough was achieved. Both factions agreed to a tentative peace plan, facilitated by the human Thalorian team. The plan involved the establishment of a joint resource management council monitored by neutral parties from the Intergalactic Academy. As the simulation ended, the room erupted in applause. The students had successfully navigated the conflict, demonstrating the power of collaboration and mutual understanding. Alex turned to Zalith, a triumphant smile on his face. We did it. Your strategic patience and our adaptability made a great team. Zalith nodded his eyes reflecting a newfound respect for his human counterpart. Indeed, Alex. This experience has shown me the value of our combined strengths. Together, we can achieve remarkable things. Dr. Lu stepped forward, her expression proud. Well done, everyone. This simulation was not just an exercise in tactics, but a demonstration of what we can accomplish when we work together. Remember, 
the real challenges we face in the universe will require the same level of cooperation and innovation. Thaler Viverick added, You have all shown great promise. The future of interstellar relations depends on leaders like you, who can bridge the gaps between our civilizations. As the students celebrated their success, the seeds of a new era were sown. The collaboration between humans and Thalorians at the Intergalactic Academy was just the beginning. With leaders like Alex and Zalith, the potential for a united and peaceful universe seemed within reach. The Academy continued to thrive, a beacon of hope and learning in the vast expanse of space. The lessons learned and friendships forged within its walls would shape the future, guiding humanity and Thalorians alike towards a destiny of shared prosperity and exploration. In the years to come, the tales of their achievements would inspire generations, proving that even in a universe filled with diverse and sometimes conflicting civilizations, understanding and cooperation could pave the way to a brighter future for all.